Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with uh, wastewater engineering in the topic of uh, high rate trickling filter. So the problem is determine the size of high rate trickling filter for the following data. So the first one is flow 5 million, sorry 4.5 million liters per day. Then recirculation rate is 1.4. Then uh, BOD of re raw sewage is 250 milligram per liter. Then BOD removal in primary settling tank is 25 percentage. Then final effluent BOD desired at uh, 50 milligram per liter. So calculate the size of standard uh, rate filter to accomplish the requirement. Okay. So we have to find out in the two types. One is a high rate trickling filter and the second one is standard rate trickling filter. Okay. So we have to find out the size. So now first thing is a solution. So for the solution, so first we have to know the BOD present, total BOD present. So total BOD present in sewage. So that is uh, 4.5 million liters, 10 power 6 liters per day into, so the BOD is, uh, in BOD in raw sewage is 250 milligram per liter. So 250 milligram per liter. Okay, so this is liter per day. So we have to convert into kg. So now uh, the milligram liter is uh, write it as milligram per liter equal to gram per meter cube. Okay, why? Because milligram into 10 power 3, then liter into meter cube is 10 power 3. So 10 power 3, 10 power 3 will be cancelled. So the gram per so, uh, meter cube is there. So now uh, we can convert into liter into meter cube. So now 4.5 into 10 power 3. So because 10 power 3 liters equal to 1 m cube. So 10 power 3 into 2 500 into the gram uh, gram converted into kg. So 10 power minus 3. Okay. So this is kg per day. Okay. So now we got the value of 1125 kg. Okay, so this is the total BOD present in the sewage. Okay, so now BOD removed from sewage in primary sedimentation tank is 25%. Uh, so 1125 into 25 divided by 100. Okay, so there are 25 percentage of BOD removed in uh, primary settling tank. So we got the value of uh, so we got the value of 281.25. So now total BOD is uh, 1125 minus 281.25. Okay, so we got the value of 843.75 kg. Okay, so this is a BOD after removed from the primary sedimentation tank. So then uh, BOD is allowed to effluent. So the final BOD effluent is also uh, we have we know that. So BOD at effluent equal to 50 milligram per liter. Okay, so now we can convert into milligram into liter is uh, 50 gram per liter. So we can convert into uh, kg, we can convert into kg 50 into 10 power minus 3 kg, okay, into, so the total flow is 4.5 into 10 power 6 liters per day, and also we can convert into meter cube, uh, so 50 into 10 power minus 3 into 4.5 into 10 power 3 meter cube per day. So now we got the value of 225 kg. Okay. So BOD removed from the filter is 843.75 minus 
225 kg okay so finally we got the value of 618.75 kg okay so this is the quantity we have to uh, uh, we have to filter in the trickling filter okay so from the value we can find out the efficiency as well as the size of the trickling filter now efficiency of filter efficiency equal to bod removal divided by total bod removing okay so total bod entry so now 618 is uh, total bod we have to remove in the trickling filter the total entry is 843.75 into 100 so efficiency in terms of percentage so 73.3 percentage so this is the efficiency so for, from there we have to find out the uh, volume of the uh, trickling filter so we know the formula efficiency equal to 100 divided by 1 plus 0 0.0044 into root of y divided by v into f so we know the formula from that we can find out the v value okay so now recirculation factor is 1.4 is given so r by r by i equal to is uh, 1.4 is given so from that we have to find out the recirculation factor so recirculation factor formula is uh, 1 plus r divided by i divided by 1 plus 0 0.1 into r by i the whole square okay so we can substitute all the values 1 plus 1.4 divided by 1 plus 0 0.1 into 1.4 the whole square so okay so from that we got the value of 1.85 okay so uh, we can substitute all the values over here so nita is 73.7 sorry 73.3 percentage equal to 100 divided by 1 plus 0 0.0044 into root of so y value is uh, 843.75 so the bod total bod we have to remove and volume we have to know and uh, recirculation factor is 1.85 that is we find out over here so solving this we got the value uh, volume equal to uh, we got the value of uh, 665.4 meter cube okay so now using depth equal to 1.5 so now area equal to volume divided by depth so volume is 665.4 divided by 1.5 is depth so we got the value of uh, 413.6 meter square okay so this is the area so from the area we have to find out the diameter so dia of tank equal to area equal to pi by 4 into d square so now area equal to 413.6 equal to 3.14 divided by 4 into d square so now d equal to the value is 23.8 meter okay so now we find out uh, d equal to 23.8 and volume and area okay so this is the data they are asking so now uh, move into second question so in the standard rate trickling filter so what is the uh, diameter of the tank so now uh, for uh, standard rate f c circulation rate f is equal to 1 so here we know the 1.85 is the uh, f value so now f value is 1 so now we can substitute nita equal to 100 divided by 1 plus 0 0.0044 into root of y value is 843.75 divided by v into 1 okay so solving this we got the value of v is equal to 1233 mq so same uh, depth we can assume 
equal to 1.5 so now area equal to volume divided by depth so 1 2 3 3 divided by 1.5 okay so now area equal to 822 meter square so now dia equal to 822 equal to pi by 4 into d square so from that relationship we call the value of d is equal to 32.4 meter okay so this is the final answer okay so uh, this is a method we can solve the tickling filter problem again we will see in next video thank you